holiest day of the year, uh, Yom Kippur, holiest day of the year that when God atoned the sins of the children of Israel. Now, of course, through Jesus Christ, we are, you know, uh, 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 as what Romans 8 says, we are uh, joint heirs to the covenant of Israel. We're joint heirs. And the thing is, what, you know, the church is not, the church system that we have these days do not recognize the idea of being, they don't truly recognize the idea of being joint heirs to the covenant of the Jewish faith. You know what I'm saying? They don't, and, you know, and Christians, I bet, I know Christians looking at me crazy, saying, Mac, why you keep up with the Jewish holidays? Why you keep up with that, you know? Um, because we're supposed to be keep should be of the Bible says we're supposed to be observing in Colossians. I believe two uh talks about observing. We're supposed to look at these things. Now we don't have to in, uh, participate, but it'd be cool if you might participate in certain activities. But we don't have to, but we're supposed to observe and analyze it because it's supposed to facilitate the divine plan of God, that what God is doing next. And we're supposed to wait, according to Romans 8, for the spiritual of adoption. That the church is not, te people are not teaching that, you know, the spirit of adoption. But those that understand Romans 11, that, that the natural branch, that we're supposed to be engrafted into the natural branch, the wild branch engrafted in uh, that 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 understands that the whole ideal reason of Christianity is to come into the adoption. That's in Romans eight that we are supposed to be joint heirs with the covenant that's already established. That we're supposed to be celebrating Yom Kippur or or acknowledge the holiday. Christians are supposed to be acknowledging the holiday of Yom Kippur, and it's a very important holiday. And a great lesson to be learned concerning Yom Kippur, but that lesson is not being learned, you know, because all of this false gods and goddess worship that is going on in our country, that our people are, the church world is so ignorant of, that I'm the only person, t well, I'm the only person, I'm trying to find people that even, you know, I even look up to see people that are acknowledging this false God God and goddess worship, especially like I keep telling you about the days of the week are named after false gods and goddesses. The days that God created to create the world, to create the earth, they're naming days, uh, they're naming after gods and goddesses. I mean, shouldn't that be so wrong? Very wrong? That God, we sing, this is the day that the Lord has made but yet we will acknowledge false gods and goddesses on the days that should be troubling. But those that have the fear of the Lord will be aggravated by that. You know what I'm saying? That, I mean, you know, that alone, you know, I tell, try to tell them that, you know, they switch the days that, that the days of the week are supposed to be named after the archangels that God put in charge of the days God put in charge. That's what the kingdom of God is about, acknowledging the ideal of the order of God that there's, that I, I did a message on, that there, the angels of heaven, there's angel, the, and the archangels of heaven, and there's archangels on earth that God, you know, established in within creation that is not in the Bible, but, but guess what? If you study the book of Enoch, you will understand the under uh, the pattern of establish of creation, a man that walk with God, you know what I'm saying that know that understands the order of creation. And the first century church studied the Book of Enoch, and they found out a whole lot of stuff that the Catholic Church is trying to keep up. But that is another message. But I'm gonna get to my message that I'm excited about by my boy Job. Job. At, see, Job performance, we know Job performance, Job, you know, God said, thou taught my servant Job, Satan said, you got the hedge protection around him, I can't deal with him, well, I'll remove my hedge protection, you know what I'm saying, removed it, bam, Satan did his thing, took this, took that, 
Job still not didn't curse God, you know what I'm saying? Though he slay me, yet I trust him. And now here's the ideal of this. Okay, how how come Job is a great servant of God? You know what I'm saying? How come? What make what 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 how, what makes him do go through this performance and you know humiliate the devil? You know what I'm saying? That I like the part of, that he humiliate the devil. But you know, but how how what why would a why would Job be the person? Well, Job, the book of Job is is for us to understand what really a servant of God is really all about. You know what I'm saying? A true servant of God is all about. And now God taught me to um God told me, say Mac, talk about the God Almighty. You know what I'm saying? He told me. So, Mac, you need to let them know about the God Almighty. And the topic of this message is talking about, you know, uh, acknowledging the Almighty God. I mean, well, acknowledging the Almighty. Now, I, I discovered reading Job and analyzing Job's scripture uh, uh, when he talks about God, that he distinguished, he say God, and he say Almighty. See, he's acknowledging that God is the Almighty. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, you know, the uh, of course, the church world we live in, you know, the things that has been going on that is totally contrary to the scriptures that I wonder to myself, do these people know about the Almighty? The Almighty? I mean, the thing is, and the stuff that Job say is like, wow, you know, I can sense how much he feared God. I mean, the fear of the Lord, Job was one is totally 100 about the fear of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? This guy is 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 understand and recognize him as a servant of God. He is God. He, he really understand the idea of he is God. And I am not, you know, that I try to tell people that we need to understand that he is God and I am not. Shout out to that girl Hillary, you know, sing that song, Thy Will Be Done. I like that song. Powerful song. For people that fear God will love that song, Thy Will, you know, but that's another message. But I want to talk about, you know, what Job says in 22. I mean, I was just analyzing this. Of course, I am posting this, you know, on Facebook. And I'm like, wow. I was in awe of how Job was acknowledging. I, uh, wait, let me go to the 21st verse. I mean, the 21st chapter first. I like this here. And it says, uh, they, they, and I'm going to start at the 13th verse. They spend their lives in wealth, United States of America, uh, and in a moment go down in the grave. <laughs> in, in a moment, because tomorrow is not promised to you. See, a servant of God. Okay, let me keep going. Uh, therefore, they say unto God, depart from us, for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. <laughs> Man, that just speaks so much values to our country right now. And political everywhere, shape or form. Uh, uh, the the well, the industry and all that the all kind of nonsense. But and 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 what is the almighty that we should serve him? That we should serve him? And what Profit should we have if we pray unto him? Lo, there's good, their good is not in their hands of the counsel of the wicked. The counsel of the wicked is far from me. I mean, that, that, that statement, that statement is just, you know, it drives my spirit, my, my spirit concerning my heart, concerning of the reality of understanding 
the relate the, the, the understanding about how we in our daily lives. Job just speak about the whole daily lives of pretty much everybody in this world, majority of people in this world. And these what I read three script three verses three four I read four verses, but in the three verses to thirteen to fifteen, he he asked a question. You know what I'm saying? I like him. He asked questions. But I want to go to the 22nd. And, <laughs> wow. I want to, I just want to read. I hope y'all read this for you. Read the whole chapter. You know what I'm saying? Read, read these two. 20, read 21 and 22 and 23. To give you a sense of really understanding that God, how, God, how Job understand the God Almighty. And how much you need to understand the God Almighty. But I believe you're probably reading the whole book of Job might understand. But these are interesting, you know, what he uh, ideas he, he put out here. But I'm going to start at uh, Matthew, uh, Job 22 and 8. As for me, as for the mighty men, he that, he that the earth and the honorable men dwell therein, Thou has sent windows away empty, and the arms of the fatherless have been broken. Therefore snares are round about thee, and sudden fear troubles thee, for, or darkness that thou canst not see, and abundance of water cover thee. Is not God in the height of heaven? Is not God in the height of heaven? And behold, the height of the stars, how high they are. See, oh, I'll keep reading. Somehow the phone just distracted me. Um, The thick, let me see. And thou sayest, how doeth God know? Can he judge through the dark clouds? The thick clouds are a covering to him that he seeth not, and he walketh in the circulate circuit of heaven. The circuit of heaven. I don't know now. For, well, now see, I, see, look at Job describing things concerning the things of God. That's what I want you to see. This idea. I know I got a, a King James version. Y'all might have the better version to read certain things. But notice, but notice that Job is describing the things of God. He first he described the things of the earth. What's going on in the earth? The men in the earth, they honor what well, they're supposed to be honorable or whatever. And notice that he's, you know, but you know, he sees the the windows in a uh, 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 way empty. Their arms, they're not more likely he's saying they're not helping. You know, humanity, you know, kind of like what's going on right now in the world we live in. They're not helping humanity. And he's saying, and he's questioning now, he goes on the 12th verse, he's talking about God's view, God's spectrum, and how God, is God up there? Is God seeing all this? Is the God Almighty is ruling and reigning and reigning and ruling and going to do something about what's going on in this world? Is what is is what question Job is asking you? Now the thing is, because if you do have a true relationship with God, you will understand what Job is saying concerning, you know, the bad things that are going on in this world and what needs to be done about what's going on in this world. Is what he and he respects the All Almighty that the All Almighty is capable of handling these situations. And making things right. Now it says in the twenty fifth verse, the twenty fifth verse it says, "Yea, the might, the the mighty, the the all and mighty shall be thy fence, and thou shall have plenty of silver. For then shall thou have thy delight in the Almighty, and shall lift up thy face unto God." Thou shalt make thy prayers unto him, and he shall hear thee, and thou shalt pay thy vows. You know, and the thing is, that's what we need to understand. Oh, that's, a, oh, I got too much time. All right, that's the message. I hope you understand the Almighty God. 
from Job Spectrum that it will help you develop a good fear of the Lord. That's the message. God be the glory here forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.